Hey guys, this is Scott from Church Tech Talks. Hey, today we're gonna to be talking about a new app called Sign Presenter. It's a super powerful app, and whether you work at a house of worship, a conference center, a restaurant, a school, this thing has applications all over the place. It can power informational walls, it can power media like videos and photos. You can do kiosks with this thing. It's super awesome and there's a lot to go over, so we gotta dive straight in, let's do it. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do to get started is we're gonna head over to signpresenter.com and you're gonna register. So I've already done that, so I'm gonna go ahead and log in here. Once we're logged in, you're gonna see this is a pretty simple three-step process. It's simple, but it's powerful, it's just what I like. So the first step is messages. Uh, you can create your messages and then you can categorize them. The second step is playlists. You can take all of those messages that you just made and you can create playlists with them. And then the third step is screens. And what you're gonna do here is you're gonna set up your screen. So you can set up one, maybe you name them by room. So we have a screen in the foyer or we have a screen in the overflow room. So that's kind of how the three steps work. And let's, let's dive into each one a little bit more. So we're gonna go to step one, messages. And you can see we have the option of creating a vertical or a horizontal message. And I'm just gonna go ahead and create one. We'll just start with a horizontal message here. So I'm gonna do a simple image. It's just an image upload. So we'll just go ahead and click that upload image and I'll go ahead and click upload. And I might upload just a little first Wednesday ad that we created, it's a service we have. And I'm gonna click uh, update. And then I'm gonna name this, this is gonna be our first Wednesday. I might add this to a category called rolling announcements. And I can put the duration that I want it to be up for. So I'm gonna put 10 seconds. And I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And you'll see that on the left here, it creates a new playlist called Rolling Announcements. So let's go ahead and add another one of those. Got another one right here ready to go. This is a campus map. It's great to put on an informational wall. So we'll go ahead and open that up. Again, we're gonna click Update. Set it to 10 seconds. We're gonna name this. This is our campus map. And we're gonna give it a category. Maybe that's in our Rolling Announcements as well. You don't have to give things a category. If you don't, it just puts it in a list called uncategorized. What if you don't have a design graphic? Well, they've thought about that and they have a built-in editor for you. So we can go ahead and click new, say horizontal, and we're gonna click on the designer. Now we can name this and we can kind of launch our own designer. They have a template one for new grill house burgers. Burger sounds pretty good right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch the designer and the way this works is it's got kind of scenes on the left and you can do, uh, it, it's got elements so you can add or remove elements and then all your options are on the right. I'll do one real quick just as a tester here. So I'm gonna go ahead and first things I'm gonna do is delete all of the elements they had on here. Cool. And then I'm gonna take this image and I'm actually just gonna select my own image here. I'm gonna upload a different one. So we're gonna upload uh, maybe these, this worship hands one that I got. All of these images that I'm using are coming from Unsplash. Uh, it's royalty free website, it's super awesome, free to use. Um, if you need images for anything, I, I definitely recommend checking it out because it's got really good looking photos. So I'm gonna go ahead and crop this to the size we want here. I'm gonna, I clicked the 16.9 to constrain it to that ratio because that's what most TVs are. There we go, make it a little bigger so we get a little more context there. There we go, that's looking nice. Cool, all right, so I'm gonna click done on that. So we've got our cropped image there. Now I'm gonna add an element, I'm just gonna say text. Click on that layer, and then we're gonna go to text options, and we're just gonna say um, welcome to uh, church. Change the size of that if we want. Maybe we want that about that. That yellow's uh, kinda cool. What if we do color picker and try and get something that's in the audience here? See how that looks. Yeah, that's, that's kind of nice. All right, so now we can go over to size and position and we can kind of change the width if we want to do that. We can, you know, move this around. Maybe we just want like this pretty center. Call that good, I'm gonna save it there. We're gonna call this our, our welcome, right? And we're gonna say this is our welcome for our rolling announcements. That's the category we'll put it in. And we're saying maybe, maybe we want this one to last 20 seconds. All right, cool, so I'm gonna save that out. So we've got, we've got three slides there. Um, you can add videos. Um, again, if we click horizontal, we can add video with audio, we can add video without audio. Um, you just click upload video and, and you just select your video right there. 
Once you upload that, it's going to start processing that video and you'll get kind of a little animation there that'll tell you it's processing. It'll let you know when it's done processing it. I've already added a video, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go over to that now and show you kind of what that looks like. You enter the duration in seconds uh, and then we can title it, we can give it a category, and there's our video that I uploaded earlier today so the processing would already be finished when I made this video. You can also do things for kiosks. So let's, let's try some vertical stuff. So let's go create a vertical one here. And uh, they've got some cool stuff. They got weather here. So I'm just gonna go create a little weather thing. We're gonna say this is maybe 20 seconds. And we're gonna name it, of course, weather. We're gonna put in our, our zip code here and we can give it a city name. So we'll say Temecula CA, save. There's our vertical weather. It's just giving us a, uh, an error every time we make one just to let us know, hey, this, this isn't in a playlist yet. We already know that. And let's create one more. So with most churches, maybe some businesses, um, certainly churches, we have uh, church management software. And for a lot of those, you have a calendar built in. And so what you can do is you can actually display a bunch of stuff. You can display HTML, you can display web pages on uh, this sign presenter app. And so what we can do, uh, if you use Planning Center, which a lot of us churches do, you can actually grab your kiosk link for either your campus or for a specific building or even for a specific room. That way you can use vertical digital signage to actually tell people when things are gonna be, where they're gonna be, what room they're in. Um, and you can kind of use it as directional signage. It'll always be up to date. You don't have to go update anything. You don't have to go add new slides to USBs and constantly be updating them. It's just gonna pull it from the web. It'll display it there. And it, with this, it's gonna be alongside our weather. Or maybe we want a campus map on that kiosk or something. So uh, I've already got that pulled up. So I've, I made some fake studies here uh, that are happening today. I'm gonna copy that link and let's go back to Sign Presenter. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a show website uh, message. And so I'm gonna type in our link here. And since this is a list of things, maybe I want it up for a bit longer. Maybe we'll say this, this should stay up for like 30 seconds. Uh, and our category, I'm just gonna say this is our uh, information category, right? And we'll name this, uh, this'll be, um, we'll say this is building a schedule, cool. And uh, like I said, with Planning Center, you could do buildings, you could do your campus, you could do specific rooms. Maybe you wanna have a, a room that has a, a, its own digital sign on there to tell you what's coming up and where things are. So you can use those in a bunch of different ways. So I'll go ahead and save that out. And with our weather, I'm actually gonna go recategorize this. I'm gonna go put this in information as well. There we go. All right, so that was what, five minutes and we've already got a bunch of slides already set up. So let's go into playlists. Now we can divide these up into playlists. So I'm gonna create a horizontal playlist and I'm just gonna create a custom one and I'm gonna name it Reliance Kids. Uh, you can decide if you want that in random, all the, all the messages in it to display random or sequential order. So I'm just gonna put sequential here for now. And over here on our right side, we can see our available messages. So we've got kids teachings and we got rolling announcements. Now, we don't have our vertical ones in there because we set this up as a 16.9 playlist. So keep that in mind. So we'll go ahead and go to our playlist and we've got kids teachings. That's the only one we uploaded for kids, but maybe we'd have other ones in there. That's what I'm gonna do for now. We're gonna save that out. Let's do another horizontal one and we'll call this Sunday Rolling. And we're gonna say, it can be in random order, that's fine. Uh, we'll go to our rolling announcements and we'll just add all three of these in there. And we're just gonna save that. Cool, we've got a Sunday Rolling playlist. And we'll go to our vertical and we're gonna create a new playlist. And we'll name this playlist uh, Kiosk. Uh, maybe maybe uh, this is our building a kiosk. Uh, random order's fine, or you can do sequential, whatever you want. We're gonna put our two messages in there and we're gonna save that. So you may be asking, what's the difference between messages and playlists, specifically the categories in the playlist? Well, the difference is you can divide these up however you want. So maybe we have a bunch of worship songs that we wanna put in here, a bunch of, of you know video or audio worship songs for our children's ministry. Well, we could categorize those all as children's songs. And then we have, you know, however many children's songs we want in there. And then maybe we have like our Sunday worship and we actually change the songs that are in that playlist every week. That it would help us categorize it a little better. So whoever your end user is, they're not digging through menus and menus. They can just go to that playlist and it's gonna be correct every time. And you don't have to actually load up new USB drives. Like I said earlier, you don't have to go to the TV. They can just turn it on and open the app and it's ready to go for them. All right, so finally, let's go set up our step three, our screens. Um, I'm just gonna set up uh, two screens here. I'm going to set up our, maybe our foyer screen that's going to be a slideshow. 
and it's going to be in zero orientation. So it's going to be your regular orientation there. So I'm going to save that. So I'm going to do manually adding playlists here and we're going to do, we'll do our, our Sunday rolling. Cool. Add. Um, and maybe, maybe, you know, maybe the kids meet in the foyer every once in a while so we can add Reliance Kids. And then when you're on the app, you'll have the option of choosing between these two playlists on that device. I'm going to go ahead and save that out. And let's add another screen here. Let's say this is our kiosk. This is digital signage. So this one, we're going to go vertical rotation. Go ahead and save that out. And with digital signage, you have the option of scheduling. You can create a schedule to run messages automatically at set times. We can do that all over here. I'm not going to do that right now. And you can also do overlays on top of that. So I'm going to go ahead and save that out. And one final thing I didn't mention is back in messages, when we go to add these, uh, there are a bunch of presets that you have in here to choose from. So if I click show more here, you'll see we've got simple image, we've got video with audio, we have a silent video, we have that designer I, I showed you earlier, we have weather, but we also have pointer, we have show website, um, which I, I did touch on that one. We have an RSS feed, we have HTML, so if you wanna do something custom, you can build it in HTML and just display your HTML there. We have trivia, they have an image gallery, so maybe you have pictures from a recent event you wanna just have on a loop. We also have uh, PDF documents, three zone, which means you have kind of three zones of, of things going on on that one. And then you have live video, and the way the live video works is it's M3U8 feed, which is a pretty pretty typical feed you would get from some someone like, uh, they're not living as one anymore, they're Resi. <laughs> so you get that M3U8 live feed, and you can pump in your live video onto these screens as well. So that'd be really good if you have uh, maybe a separate building that has like an overflow room in it with a TV, you could have your live video automatically start um, whenever your service started. I wouldn't put it in the same building where your, your actual service is going on or, or where the video is being you know recorded because it's gonna be delayed, it's a live video, so you have your typical delays in there, you're just better off wiring at that point. So anyways, that is the website of it, so let's jump over to the TV and check out the app. All right, so I am using the Amazon Fire Stick Lite. This thing is like 22 bucks on Amazon right now, so it's super cheap. So this is a really easy way to get uh, a cool custom app for a ton of TVs really cheaply. So uh, again, 22 bucks on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. Go pick one up. They're really cheap and they're great. All right, so once you have your Fire Stick, uh, you can go ahead and download the Sign Presenter app. Now, I've already got that download, so I'm going to go ahead and open it. First thing it's gonna ask you to do is log in, so we'll do that real quick. All right, there we go, we're logged in. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna select what screen we're using here. So we have those screens, we set up the foyer or the kiosk, we'll go ahead and select foyer for now. And then we're gonna select our playlist. So for our playlist, we've got Sunday Rolling that we set up as well as that Reliance Kid for, for this screen. So we'll go ahead and start Sunday Rolling. It's gonna load that up, play it back for us. It loads it locally, so you're not gonna have sync issues uh, every time you use this. So it might be a little bit better if you're in a situation where maybe your Wi-Fi is limited or your Wi-Fi is a little bit slower. So there's that slide we designed, as well as the campus map there. It's gonna advance automatically, or you can just click to advance it, and then it rotates, just like that. So let's go back, and let's go to Reliance Kids, and it'll load up that thing again. It's gonna load the image, it's gonna load the video there. If we had more slides, it would play those back as well, but it, it, that playlist only contains that video right now. All right, so let's go back and let's check out that kiosk screen that we set up. All right, so it's saying there are no messages in the schedule, and that's because I actually forgot to go over here and add a playlist to that schedule. You have to have a schedule for digital signage, so let me go do that real quick. We're just gonna add that building A kiosk there. You add these up to 100% of that schedule, and we're gonna save that. We'll save the screen. Let's go ahead and reload this screen. And it's loading that schedule right now, and there it is. There is our weather, and it's vertical, which is super cool. Let me skip to the next one. And there's our events for the day. It's gonna tell you the time, it tells you what's coming up, it tells you what building it's in, and it's got a little event description there for you. So you kinda of always have the ability to check out what's going on, uh, where it is. And we set up two TVs with three different playlists in a matter of minutes. It's super simple. And so far it's been incredibly reliable. So I definitely recommend you guys check this out. I think it's a really good alternative to Plex. Like I said, especially in areas where you have 
low Wi-Fi or where you have slow internet, but it's gonna work in great Wi-Fi as well, so it could be a really good option for your church. Especially if you have a big campus where you don't wanna be running around and updating USB ports and plugging them into TVs all across the campus. You can just set up a schedule and just have it run and it's gonna take care of itself. So anyways, guys, that is Screen Presenter. It's a super awesome and, and really powerful app, but it's super easy to use, which is why I love it. The Fire Stick, 22 bucks a month. The app itself is a $10 a month subscription. Literally the price of Netflix, totally worth it. There's a 14 day free trial. Uh, use my code that's in the description below. If you like this, like and subscribe and we will see you guys on the next video. Take care.